This is LBC with Sangeeta Maiska. Hello, I'm Sangeeta Maiska here with you on LBC. I am asking you, is it not time that Suella Braverman just resigned? I cannot believe the litany of mistakes that are coming out of the Home Office. Karen... Uh, from Ramsgate in Kent. Cara, I think we've spoken before, haven't we? We have. I'm the county councillor for the Labour Party for Ramsgate. That's and right. I've kept a very close eye on what's happening in Manston in particular. Did you hear what Sir Roger Gale said? He said that this is hysterical, that the Times, the Sunday Times, not a newspaper known to be a tabloid, yeah. uh, in the sense that he was referring to, um, has blown it all out of proportion. He says there are really good health checks there. It's not a problem. Is he right? I don't think he is, actually. And I, do, I think you can sort of bank on what the Times is saying. And I myself was shocked to hear the escalating number of diphtheria cases, because as you've said, it's a kind of quite a rare illness. And in fact, I am on a health committee for, for Kent and Medway, the Health Reform and Public Health Cabinet Committee. It sounds very grand. There's basically the opportunity to do overview and scrutiny on a range of matters. Mm. And I think as I spoke to you before, I've been trying to gain access to the, uh, to, to the Manston Centre. And, it, and we're denied, as myself and another Kent County Councillor, Barry Lewis, we are denied. We cannot get access. And we think that's a breach of democracy, you know, because these are residents in our area. But also during that Cabinet Committee meeting, the Director for Public Health disclosed to us the two companies, private sector companies, that are involved in providing healthcare on Manston. And I was able to quickly Google one, and I can tell you they did not inspire me with confidence. And, you know, I challenged, I said, is this what we're doing? We're, we're using the private sector to provide health care for these people, and this company doesn't look exactly brilliant. They normally do sort of care on set for films and that sort of thing. And I was more or less told I should be grateful because, in fact, the NHS in Sanit is at breaking point, and they were his exact words. Mm. So it doesn't really surprise me that people on that site aren't getting great health care because it kind of mirrors the health care that people in Sanit are getting in general. And the private sector companies that have been deployed there to give this health care uh, they're not the right companies. That is not the right level of care. Karen, can and I interrupt you very quickly? And balance in place. Yeah. Karen, can I interrupt you quickly? I want to hear more about this because I'm now completely confused slash intrigued about what medical facilities are actually available to uh, this thousand or so uh, migrants at Manston. Uh, you say that you have tried to get access to Manston, that that has been turned down. You said that a private company was uh, providing uh, health services there. What do you know about that private? company Karen? Uh, well there's two private health companies and what I know about one is that they provide professional medical cover for film TV and sporting events and that doesn't exactly sound like the sort of coverage that is needed at a place like Manston because I mean I think Suella Braverman does need to go I think the fact that we got up to 4,000 people incarcerated in a site under tents was, was bad enough but then to realise that their health needs have been completely neglected. And worse than that, those people then have been dispersed around the country. So goodness knows how far that, and I hope it hasn't spread, you know, the diphtheria virus spreads very quickly, actually. So I am really worried about that. But I'm also really concerned, how can you put a facility like Manston in a place like Sanit, which already has... NHS services at breaking point. And if just diphtheria did take hold, if it did become a problem, please consider the fact that our hospitals are at maximum capacity. Our local hospital is on Opal 4, which means, you know, it's at serious risk of closing the doors to people who want to come in. So we, we're really putting an extra strain where strain already exists. It's absolutely a dereliction of duty. No. It's, it's appalling. Karen, of course, you heard Sir Roger Gale, who, of course, is Tory MP for North Thanet. He said, Sangeeta, yeah. this is all completely overblown. The problems at Manston are now under control. Uh, the number of um, asylum seekers and migrants there has been brought back down to a thousand or so. He said, Sang you must have heard that interview. He said, Sangeeta, you've got this wrong. He said, this is, you're making a meal out of nothing. He said the only circumstances in which, or certainly implied that the only circumstances in which Suella Braverman really should be forced to resign actually as if it is proven that she has lied to the house over what she knew about the overcrowding at Manston and um, the booking of hotel rooms for the extra numbers 
does he have a point there that actually Secretary of State can't just keep resigning every time there are a slew of newspaper stories? Actually, they have to have been proven to break parliamentary rules before they go. Well, I mean, I don't know at what point you would say the person in the post is is, is obviously incompetent and obviously on, uh, not across a particular brief. And obviously, if there is lying involved, that person should resign. But I'm talking about the design of this particular uh, migrant path and what we're now hearing from it. You know, what was set up was a recipe for disaster. You could have predicted that something awful like this was going to happen. And it's simply no good for Roger Gale, the MP for North North Thanet, and we don't, we never hear from the MP from South Thanet. It's completely invisible. It's 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 not good enough now to say, oh, you know, please pipe down. This isn't really a problem. Seventy people with diphtheria dispersed across the country is actually potentially a huge problem. And to put four thousand people or even one thousand people in a centre that isn't fit for purpose in an area that is already bursting at the seams with health issues and health problems and people can't get access to GPs or A&E care is a disgrace. That is a disgrace in itself. That's the view of Karen from Ramsgate in Kent. She says she is a Labour councillor. She says she has been trying to uh, get access to Manson and hasn't been able to. Just a, cor a minor correction. There are 70 suspected cases of diphtheria amongst asylum seekers and migrants coming over in small boats now distributed across the country.